Hey, what's up guys? Talon back with a video. Uh, I just returned from Micro Center and picked up my RTX 4090 Strix Edition. And uh, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video for you guys and show you kind of a side-by-side, -side, sort of a comparison between um, my EVGA 3090 Ti uh, for the Win 3 and uh, kind of the size difference between the two uh, units here. This is an absolute monster of a card, but I'm expecting that this card's gonna be significantly larger. So I got my Leatherman here. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. Let's see if it's, uh, it's even necessary for the Leatherman. It looks like it is. They do seal their, looks like they do seal the boxes. So I went ahead and got that. I'm filming this just with an iPhone. So, I'll do my best to uh, unbox this. Hopefully, I don't uh, completely destroy the packaging. I normally keep the boxes just for uh, kind of resale and and storage of, of cards that um, I may not be using at the time. So, the uh, 3090 Ti is going to go into my uh, living room PC. I've actually I've got that set up just right there. Um, it currently has... Uh, a uh, AMD card in actually uh, I bought a um, uh, it's a 6750 XT um, it's a good card but it, in uh, I'm using a an LG C1 uh, 4k 120 Hertz uh, OLED display it has G-Sync and FreeSync I'm just gonna set this down for just a second pull this out of the box oh my god this card is so so heavy show you guys the box real quick there's not much to it uh they had uh quite a few cards at micro center uh they did a lottery system i went there with myself and i dragged my wife along this morning to give myself better odds to win and she actually ended up getting her phone text uh texted so that we could go in and i just took her phone went up there and was able to get the card so it looks pretty cool uh they had uh zotac cards gigabyte uh not the errors card um, I didn't want the Zotac. Then they had the MSI Gaming X Trio, and I thought that would be an okay card, and I looked into it. It actually doesn't have a vapor chamber, so almost all of the cards for the 4090 have vapor chambers. MSI cheaped out, it looks like, at least from what I can see. It may, it may, it may be that just they don't have it in the advertisement, but it looks like they cheaped out and only put the vapor chamber on the Supreme X, which is what I actually wanted besides the Strix. It was the two cards I wanted. And, uh, yeah, it looks like on the Gaming X Trio, they cheaped out and they didn't put a vampire chamber. So, a little, a little dusty. Yeah, pretty cool box. I mean, it's got kind of some texturing to it, which is kind of nice. Little Strix logo. Holy cow. That looks like a chungus. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me set this down. Oh, my gosh. This is... This card is huge. <laughs> this is, it's almost laughable just how big this actually is. Okay. So that's the card. In here you just have your, your normal stuff it looks like. Uh, probably information about your, your warranty. Oh, it comes with a, it looks like a GPU holder. Um, yeah, I have one of these already, so I'll use my own. So it looks like it may have been in that at one point. Some sort of ROG Strix strap, which I'll never use. And then it comes with the new power uh, cable, which from NVIDIA, which requires four 8-pins to the new 16-pin. And the EVGA card had a similar setup. It was kind of like, the, I think this was like their trial run for that. You can see that it's got the uh, connector there as well. So, uh, for the EVGA, I'll be using, I actually ordered a custom cable, so I won't be using, where did I just put that cable? Oh, it's right here. So I won't be using, uh, this one very long. I ordered a custom, uh, cable from Cable Mod, which is the cables I actually normally use, uh, that is going to have, uh, all four of those cables leading to one, so you won't have to use the adapter. And they're just, they're better cables. My gosh, this card is just absolutely ginormous 
Holy cow. I don't know if it's going to be worth the money, but you know what? I figured if I'm spending the money, I'm going to get the big boy. Um, I've had Strix cards in the past. I trust them. They worked well. They're really, really nice cards. This is, uh, this is insane. This is absolutely insane, guys. Look at this card. <laughs> I hated it in pictures. I hated this Pepsi Cola thing, but man, this is a really nice card. Holy cow. Pretty cool, so it looks like the fans spin uh, opposite direction. Really, just a massive heat sink, my God. And it's got some sort of like brace set up in here to kind of keep the card nice and stable. Obviously, a 16 pin here. I liked it better with the For the Win 3 where it was on the end. That was really well thought out by, thought out by EBJ. It does have a, um, a dual bio switch, so right there you have your bio switch which will come in handy. Um, I'm just gonna cover that. That's just the uh, warranty information. Wow, really, really nice. You can see this is all vented over here. Um, once you take all this off, down on the bottom, let's see if the heat sink kind of extends. It looks like it ends right there where my finger's at. So this is more just, yeah, just frame. So that's the thickness of the heat sink. Wow, really, really nice. And then it actually comes with two HDMI 2.1. Uh, 2 so you got HDMI 2.1, HDMI 2.1, and then your display point 1.4 alpha uh, on the back, your three of them. So two HDMI 2.1s, which is really nice. I like the stainless steel they use. I don't like when it's painted because it really gets, as soon as you, as soon as you put any screws in there, they get destroyed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at that. This was the biggest card I had ever seen before. Look at the size of this. These cards side by side. That is just unbelievable. Wow. It's just a chungus. That's okay because I have a Corsair 7000D uh, uh, case that I'll be putting this in. I'm going to go ahead and get this installed, guys. I'm going to get a ton of videos out to you as soon as I can. I only have today to do some benchmarking and testing. Unfortunately, I had to go out of town um, for annual training for my company. And that takes about five days. And uh, after that, I'll be home. I'm off eight days and I'll have a lot of time to... Do more benchmarking, more gaming, and then 13900K is coming out. I'll be picking, I'll be, I already pre-ordered a new egg. I may just keep that or I may run over to Micro Center and pick it up in the morning. I haven't decided yet, but stay tuned. We'll get some more out to you soon. Peace.